Hello everyone and welcome to another installment of the Home Handyman. Today we're going to be uh, giving you a brief overview of the web portal to control your filtrate or radio thermostat. So what we're going to do is open a web browser and I'm already on the page we need to be but it's https forward slash my radio thermostat forward slash filtrate forward slash login dot html so what you do is we're going to put in our email address and then we're going to type in our password and then we're going to hit sign in okay once we hit sign in it's going to take us to our main screen and it's going to show us our thermostats. So this is our main screen. We have a bunch of tabs across the top. We have a thermostat tab, a support tab, and our profile tab. This is our profile of our uh, account and this is where we would sign out when we're done. So let's start with something very simple. Let's look at our profile. So we'll click on profile and it'll show us our profile, our user, our first name, and our last name. This is a test one, so our pat, our email address. We can decide whether we want to show things in Fahrenheit or centigrade. And this is also where our password, we could change our password. So this is the place where we would use to change our password. Since everything here is OK, we're going to go ahead and cancel and not save anything. OK, so again, we're back to our main tab. And what we're going to look at is, we have a thermostat. If we would have more than one thermostat, we could scroll down and the other thermostats would be shown beneath it. But you also have multiple locations available. This is our second location. If I click the down arrow, we can go to our main location. This shows us our thermostat on the main location. We also have the ability to edit a location. We click edit. And we notice we told it to edit the main location, so we have our second location and the number of thermostats with it, and our main location and the number of thermostats with it. So you can have multiple thermostats at a location, and you can have multiple locations. If you want to change the location of a thermostat, you can just click on the Move button of that thermostat and change the location. So if you need to move it from one location to another, or you need to add a new location because you just added this thermostat and need a new location. You can go to add a new location, click OK, and it'll give you another box to fill out to add that location. And then the thermostat would appear on that location. Since I don't need to do that right now, I'm going to just click cancel, but that would be how you would do it. OK, so what we're going to do is go back to the thermostat we're working on. And as you can see, the thermostat has a lot of information about it. Shows you the in-store temperature, your target temperature, when the next time period that the setting will change of the target temperature for the program, and the last time it communicated with the server. You also can change your fan mode from auto to on, or back to auto. You can change your mode from heat to cool to auto. And if you have it in auto, it shows you what your target temperature for heat is and your target temperature for cool. Now, what would happen here, since this is auto, it would automatically switch back and forth. So if our t indoor temperature got above 85, then it would switch to cool. Otherwise, since it's, since it's below 67, it's going to be in heat and actually turn on the heat. So you can't, if you need to adjust something, you have to select one of the temperatures that you want to adjust. Let's say we want to adjust our heat temperature. We can adjust that up and click start. And as you notice, when you adjust the temperature, because you have to be in a program mode to use auto, it then switches you to the temperature that you adjusted. So in this case, the heat. So now we've uh, adjusted the temperature. Let's say that we really want to hold that temperature because we're not feeling well today and we're going to be home all day and we want to keep it at 72 in the house. So if you want to hold a temperature, what you have to do is hit the schedule and click the hold in the schedule area. 
and we'll talk a little bit more about schedule in a little bit. We click the hold and then we can go back to the thermostat and you notice that it's in hold and that our custom schedule has been put on hold so it's not going to be using it. So our thermostat is now in hold and it will maintain that 72 degrees until we tell it to do something different. Okay, so it's maintained the 72 degrees and you need to go out for whatever reason. You have the option of setting the thermostat into the away mode. So you press away and now it says that all the thermostats at this location are now set in away. You can tell they're in away by it saying end away and also you cannot make any changes on the screen. Notice that it's at all thermostats at this location. So if you had two thermostats at your house, you don't have to set each one individually. You can set both of them at the same time. Now the target away temperature that's set is something that's user defined and you can set that up and I'll show you where that happens. Now if we want to end away, we just click the end away button and it takes us back to our target temperature. Notice that it is takes us back to our program target temperature. So it drops you back to the program. If you want it to be warmer, again you would have to adjust it or colder. And you also notice that it gives you some information about what it's going to cost you to make those changes. So we just we need to put it back up to 72. We click start and again we want to hold it so we hit schedule and we click hold and now we've got it held. Okay, now we talked a little bit about the away temperature and, and it was like at 64 degrees. So if you want to change that away temperature, you click on the info link and that is where the away temperature is set. Now notice it gives you some quick information about what the EPA recommends, but you can set it to whatever you want. I don't like it to set it much under 65, especially when it gets cold outside because my furnace isn't efficient enough to bring it back up to a, a, a temperature fast enough. So I set mine to 65. There's your cool away temperature. And then you can also, on this screen, besides setting your away temperatures, you can name your thermostats. So when they come in, they come in with a really bad name, but you can name them whatever you want so that you know which thermostat's which one, your bedroom thermostat, the rec room thermostat, whatever. And you can get notifications about that thermostat, so in case it goes offline, you know when it went offline, and it will tell you when that thermostat went offline. There is additional information available. This is more for if you had to do some troubleshooting with our technical staff. And it gives you the model number of the thermostat and the version of the firmware in it. Your device ID, which we sometimes call the UUID. And if you put dashes between every other character, maybe you know, like 5C dash DA dash, that will give you your MAC address. And then finally, an API version if on some of the thermostats that shows and the firmware version of the actual Wi-Fi module that you have in the thermostat. If we go back, it takes us back, and edit location is the same as the edit location up here that we visited. So there's two different ways to get to edit locations. When we're all done, we sit save, and it'll save what we did. And then if we go back to the thermostat and set it in the way now, you'll notice that my new target is 65 and we're going to just end away. Now last, we didn't talk anything about programming, but I'll give you a little idea under schedule is where your programs are set. You can set up different programs for your thermostat. For instance, this one is set up on a 5, what they call a 5-1 program. What happens here is Monday through Friday at these times it'll be this temperature and on Saturday and Sunday we only need to change it twice. So it'll be at 70, until 11 p.m. and then it'll change to 65. Um, we're going to be doing another video which will show you how to set these programs up. That's one of the programs. Now I'm going to go to the other thermostat here so let me just go to the locations up here. Go to my second location and this thermostat has a, like a different type schedule. So I'm going to end my hold so you can see the schedule has a different type of schedule. It's a day-by-day -day schedule, so each day in this particular one could be different. 
I know that because I can say see your full schedule here and it just shows today's schedule so if I go here it will show me a chart of my whole schedule for the week so I can see what is going on each day of the week and if I want to look at my cool schedule I just click on the cool you'll notice that it changes to my cool schedule you can also reset your away temperatures here so some, t some of the pro processes you do have two places you can do them in other ones only have one so we'll be talking we'll go through how to change things on this schedule and some of the special stuff you can do plus you can anytime you want you can reset it back to the energy star recommended schedule you can have one program for heat and one program for cool and if you get stuck you can always go to the support tab and it brings up various different items that you can look at and a set of free ask questions so that you can find how to do things and what things do and how they work and also um, you can get user guides on the system too. If you need help, you can just go to our contacts uh, customer support and uh, you can either email us or give us a call and we'll be happy to help you out. So hopefully this will um, give you some idea of how to use your thermostat in the web portal. And when you're done, simply log out. We look forward to seeing you in our next installment on programming your thermostat from the web portal. Thank you.